Hey guys, Dominic from Genuine Reels, and yet again today we're doing another horror ranking from worst to best. If you've seen my previous videos, I've done Nightmare on Elm Street, I've done Halloween, I've done Friday the 13th, and I just recently did Chucky in honor of the new Cult of Chucky film that is out on Blu-ray and DVD today. But today, if you could tell by the shirt, the Flyboy shirt, I am doing the George Romero zombie film, specifically the George Romero zombie films. I won't be doing films like Return of the Living Dead, even though I love this movie with all my heart. I love the first two. I don't know how I feel about the third one. Let me know in the comments, but we're not going to be doing these movies today. I may do these at some point, but today we are doing the George Romero zombie films. That is one, two, three, six, six George Romero zombie films. Of course, we lost George Romero recently and he was um, reportedly working on a new film that we'll never get to see. Unfortunately, may he rest in peace, the zombie maestro, the creator of the modern zombie, really. But let's take a look at his movies. We'll go into uh, which one was the worst and which ones are the best. So let's start the list. Okay, so the worst in this franchise, I feel, uh, it, it took a little bit. I had to kind of do a little coin toss with the last two, but I think I'm going to go with Diary of the Dead, George Romero's Diary of the Dead, because this film is is a movie that it's it tries to... I appreciate that it tries to reinvent itself. It does try to reinvent itself by doing the kind of found footage thing, and I can appreciate George in his older years doing something like this, attempting something like this, and it does make it feel fresh, but I really, this movie just didn't do it for me. I remember I picked it up day one, I bought it, I was very excited, and I was a little disappointed. Is it the worst zombie movie out there? No. And actually, after multiple viewings over the years, it's gotten better for me. But as far as being in the scheme of things and the um, series overall, I like this one the least. It feels the least like a George Romero zombie movie, but let's move along. Next up on the list is Survival of the Dead. Now, a lot of people thought this was the worst one. I've seen, you know, a lot of people say this is probably the worst Romero zombie film, but I honestly felt it's not perfect. It has moments in there, here and there, that feel like little throwbacks and stuff like that, and there are moments that feel like a George Romero movie. Is it sloppily made? Yeah, a little bit, but it's not found footage, and found footage throws me off makes me kind of nauseous, so it's not my favorite thing. But, interestingly enough, this is one of the only zombie movies that has returning characters because this has a character from Diary of the Dead, so it's an interesting little connection, but slightly better, I think, than Diary of the Dead. All right, now let's get into the good stuff. Now, there's four movies left, obviously, and these ones all have a special place in my heart, like a lot of you. Um, next up is... Land of the Dead. This is the one that we waited for for a long time. This was, Jesus, 2005. Holy shit. I remember seeing this in theaters, being very excited, wanting to know what George Romero had in store for us. And I personally really like Land of the Dead. I think it's a good uh, entry into the series. I think you have nice little nuggets in there for longtime fans. You got Tom Savini popping up as Machete, or whatever you want to call him, as a zombie for a moment. It's fun. You have Asia Argento in there. Of course, Daria Argento, the Italian horror maestro, uh, in there in a, a leading role. John Leguizamo, Dennis Hopper, the late, great Dennis Hopper. Obviously, I'm not going to go into the plot of this movie, but I really, I love it. I love the idea that, you know, the rich are able to get away from zombies. And George, this is the problem, I think, with the other two, where this was the final uh, dead movie that I think Romero really hit the nail on the head with the social commentary and, like, what the world has become. And this is also post 9-11, so there's a lot of that influence, but... It was originally titled Dead Reckoning, of course, named after the vehicle they drive around in. And I just have so much fun with this movie. I might even watch it tonight, the Halloween mood. I really enjoy it. You got, like I said, John Leguizamo, always good in there. Dennis Hopper has a lot of funny moments. Simon Baker, I believe his name is. I'll check later. But good movie. And unfortunately, this was the last dead movie we got in theaters. But I think a fitting entry into the original films. Now... Let's get into those original films, because now there's three films left. So let's go. Third best Day of the Dead. Now, the funny thing about Day of the Dead is, I think for me, and I think for a lot of people, it's more of a slow burn. You know, like, 
A movie like Dawn of the Dead is action-packed. It's like a comic book. Day of the Dead is a darker film. It's less fun, obviously. And the first time I saw it years and years ago, I didn't know how I felt about it, honestly. Compared to Dawn of the Dead, compared to Night, I was like, where does this sit in the ranking? This is before, of course, like Land of the Dead. So, But honestly, it's become one of my favorite movies. And every time I watch Day of the Dead, I enjoy it so much. And I'm laughing because I'm thinking about uh, the, the army character in there. What the hell is it? Joe Connor! Joe Connor! I forget his name. Because you guys, I can't, I can't remember everything. But I love that guy. Um, I love the, the, the characters in this movie. I've grown to love them. It's obviously a gloomy movie and it, it kind of takes its cues from Night of the Living Dead and goes back to its roots of being a dark movie. Of course, if you read up on it, you know that originally George Romero had this bigger script, but he was unable to afford it budgetary wise. And he, he shrunk the movie. He let it be underground most of the movie. And of course, who could forget Bub? and Dr. Frankenstein, and all these great scenes. I mean, I love it. I love the damn movies. And the gore. Tom Savini at his best. The gore. It's amazing. It the zombies. So next up, this is a hard choice. For a lot of fans, what is the best Romero zombie movie? What is the second best Romero zombie movie? To me, to me, you guys probably already made judgments with the poster right there and the, the shirt, but... Night of the Living Dead is the second best one for me. I love Night of the Living Dead. And this is yet again another one where it's not as fun as Dawn of the Dead. You have to kind of grow to it. But such a great, creepy classic. And such a boom, shotgun to the heart. Kind of literal ending. You know, just a real like, holy shit. And especially at this time in 68, I think it was. This is a big thing. This is the invention of zombies as we know them today. Yeah, we had, you know, movies like Black Zombie and whatever in the 30s. That Bela Lugosi was a white, white zombie. There we go. We had movies like that. We had movies that, you know, had zombies and voodoo. This is what zombies become. Without this movie, there wouldn't be a Walking Dead. Without George Romero, there wouldn't be a Walking Dead. And anybody will tell you that. Robert Kirkman will say that out of his own mouth. Really dark. And yeah, obviously, you know, it's cheaply thrown together because this was an independent movie. This was made by students. It's made by, you know, people on the bare essentials. The soundtrack is obviously stock music, but it does a damn good job. Still as powerful as it was today as it was in 1968. A damn good movie. And of course, let's jump into number one. Not only my favorite in the George Romero zombie movies, but might but toss up between this and the original Halloween as far as favorite horror movie ever. I absolutely love Dawn of the Dead. I mean, what is not to love? You know, obviously some people may watch it and say, okay, the effects are a little cheesy now, the makeup is just gray and blue makeup, and the blood's orange, but I love it all. It's such a fun movie. I love the characters. Ken Forey, Scott Reiniger, I think his name is. Um, Roger. My God. We got this, man. We got this by the balls. I love this movie. Oh my God, I, I love it. The mall setting and just bringing, taking what he did in Night of the Living Dead and just bringing it up, you know, putting the fun in there, putting the comic book in there. And of course, he was going to have a darker ending originally, but he went with the funner ending and for good reason. I mean, who could forget the classic scene with Flyboy or Roger's transformation, classic scenes, classic fun. I absolutely love Dawn of the Dead. And there are three different cuts out there. You know, you could watch the European cut, the theatrical cut, or the extended cut. I still prefer the theatrical cut is the best cut, but those other ones are fun. I mean, you watch the European one, you got more music from from uh, Goblin in there, which is great. You watch the extended cut, you get some extra gore, you know, more uh, knives to the head and stuff. That is my list of worst to best George Romero zombie movies. Tell me what your list is. Do you think Night is number one? Do you think Diary of the Dead's number one? That's ridiculous, but tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Check out the other videos. Um, we do other horror rankings here I've done. I'll put the, I'll put the links below for the Chucky, the Jason, the Michael, the Freddy one. Let me know if you want me to do any more of these rankings. People seem to like these. And also, I do a podcast on iTunes for free where we talk about some horror movies. Me, my brother, my girlfriend, we talk about some movies like Kindergarten Cop. We talk about Halloween 3 in extended conversations. Joke around about them, so check those out. And of course, guys, if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.